everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make a beautiful boho inspired wall hanging from a thrift store doily. Welcome back to my channel again today. Thank you so much for popping by. Today I am so excited to finally take part in Hillary from my so-called Homes $5 Goodwill Challenge. I will leave a link in the description box below to Hillary's channel. She is amazing. You definitely need to go visit her channel and subscribe. Right now she's doing a fantastic house reno, which I have been following along and I think is so fun and exciting. So please definitely check out Hillary from my so-called homes channel and go ahead and subscribe. So the challenge was to spend $5 at a thrift store and create something for our home this spring. So I found a doily for $3.99 at Value Village and I decided to create a boho inspired wall hanging for my living room. I've always loved all things kind of bohemian styled. So I love cream colors, crochet, feathers, flowers, all of that kind of thing. So I just took the doily and a few things that I had at home and I created something really fun for spring for our walls. Let's get started. For this project you need a medium or large sized doily. I found my doily for $3.99 at Valley Village and I thought it was perfect for this $5 Goodwill challenge. You'll also need a piece of driftwood or an old stick. I found mine in our ditch and I just trimmed off any of the sticky outy parts with a saw. I also used some yarn that I had on hand, some cotton yarn in the same color as my doily and a needle and thread. I also used some faux flowers and some floral wire for this project. First, place your doily over top of your branch. I put mine about a quarter from the top and then you're just going to want to fold the doily over top of the branch. Flip it around and then thread your needle with just some regular old sewing thread. I use cotton sewing thread and then just simply stitch the doily to itself. So I just used really long loose stitches and stitched all the way from one side to the other of my doily to secure it to the branch. Once you're finished stitching all the way across your doily, just secure the end with a knot and trim off the excess. Next, you're going to cut some yarn lengths that are about the same length as your forearm and cut quite a few of these pieces to make the fringe along the bottom of your wall hanging. I probably cut about 40 of these. Next, you're going to want to tie the end of one piece of yarn to the end of your branch. Just use a square knot and then decide how long you want your hanger to be and then tie the other end of the yarn to the other side of your branch just using a square knot. This is what you're going to use to hang your wall hanging on your wall. Then you're going to put two of the pieces of yarn together and you're going to tie them around the bottom of your doily like this. So I fold them in half, pull them from the back to the front of my doily, and then pulled the loose end through. And I did this all along the bottom of my doily just like this. Finally, you're going to make a small little floral arrangement for the top of your wall hanging. So I used some faux lavender, some small white flowers and some faux tulips and just kind of cut them and arrange them in a way that I liked. I ended up with this really interesting symmetrical pattern that I thought worked for the top of my wall hanging. Once you have your flowers in the way that you like them, take some floral wire and just wrap the arrangement with the wire to secure it. Once you're finished wrapping all of your flowers, just twist the two ends of the wire together to make sure that everything is nice and secure and it won't fall apart. Once your wall hanging is hung on the wall with a nail, you're just going to secure your florals with a piece of extra yarn. I just tied my full florals to the stick with a piece of yarn.
And that is it. You are all done. Your boho inspired wall hanging made from a thrifted doily. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it and found some inspiration from it. If you liked this project and this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more DIY and decor ideas, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again to Hillary from My So Called Home for hosting this challenge, and I will see you all again next time. Bye.